Okay, first of all, I want to apologize to Rick Merce for doing this to him because I just, I love the work, but here we go. All right, here's the thing. As we all know, we're in a pandemic and as such, governments need to make decisions, hard decisions. Would I like to be in their shoes? No. Saying that, as Canadians, the vast majority of us are good soldiers and we go along with a lot. We go along with a lot as long as it makes sense and why wouldn't we? Here lies the problem. As an osteopathic manual practitioner in Ontario, we are not allowed to work. Reason being is that we're unregulated. Fine, I get that, but we're working towards it. The problem is that we can work in every other province in this amazing country, but our own. Nova Scotia actually came out and said last month that in a total lockdown, osteopathic manual practitioners can work. Unregulated healthcare workers can work in that province with a valid COVID-19 plan, which our association has and we follow. Maybe just East Coasters are smarter than we are. And I'm not just saying that because my mother's from Prince Edward Island. Another thing about decisions that don't make any sense, not only can't we work, but osteopathic practitioners are grouped in with personal care services, including hairstylists, nail salons, and tattoo parlors. Now, I'm sure hairstylers are very safe from what I hear, since clearly, I haven't had those services in quite a while. But, you know, does covering up your roots equal fixing unrelenting migraines? Or do split ends equal, you know, helping some of the crippling back pain stand up again and function without opioids? I don't know. Now, I really feel sorry for all those personal care industries as the majority operate safely and are not causing the spread. I know in our clinic, from opening after the first lockdown, we've had over 2,000 patients come in and no COVID cases. Um, you know, as per our association, we screen people twice, we're cleaning all the time, we wear PPE, we have air filters, temperature checks, all the bells and whistles just to make sure we're safe. Now, I know we're all in this together, but we need to start getting back to work and start helping our patients in acute and chronic pain. And, you know, really as a profession, we need to get out of this personal care category because clearly I know nothing about doing nails.